I simply can't understand why Andrew Bynum is not re-signing with my 76ers. And what worries me the most is that he's offended for some reason. I wonder why. Time out, time out. Bynum, we need to have a talk. Huh? Wipe that smile off your face, Andrew. You're right. So, Mr. DeLeo, what's up? So, after all we did for you, even after the supposed bowling accident, we still had your back. When you showed up at team practices looking like, what's that term, ratchet? We held you down. Even when you showed up to games looking like Don King's second cousin, we were still there for you. And we're not even going to talk about those t-shirts. But you're the GM. You decided not to re-sign me before a deadline, right? Duh! Because you're a walking injury waiting to happen. So why are you offended? I'm sorry. It was just an excuse to get out of Philly. But we're still cool, right, DeLeo? Thanks for the 16 mil. Peace. What's going on everybody? I hope that first clip answered all your questions about Andrew Bynum's return as a 76er. No, he will not be returning. No, we will not be re-signing him. And no, we will not be looking at him in free agency. But what I would like to show you guys is a lot of people that retired. Amongst them, Steve Nash, Derek Fisher, Jay Kidd, Ray Allen. You have Gentry finally retiring. Now check out the Hall of Fame list. You got Ray Ray, Stevie, and Jay Kidd. But one thing I really wanted to show y'all is my player progression. The reason why I decided to play all 82 games of the 2012 to 2013 season, yes I simulated, is because I wanted the players to actually progress. People who did good progressed, people who were injured didn't. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of questions about my draft class. Yes, I am using franchise play draft class off a of 2k share. Search is gamertag, you'll be able to find it. Now, down to business. You guys know that Doug Collins resigned, right? Well, I have the full story. I have the scoop on what happened behind the scenes. Let's check it out. Hey, Doug, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you in ages. Uh, could we have a few quick words before this game starts? Okay, Tony, I'll be right over there after I get these guys ready for shoot around. Okay, Doug, man to man, I'm going to keep this straightforward. We're going to be letting you go after this season as the head coach, but there is a but. To save face in our organization, we would like you to resign. Now, hold up before you get angry. If you resign, we will make you a top advisor within our organization. How does that sound? You want me to be an advisor? <laughs> now, don't always believe what you hear in the newspapers, people. <laughs> but um, it's time for me to find a new coach. The first thing I was looking for in a coach was potential. Now, we all know if a coach has okay offense okay defense but has an all-star squad that will just you know raise on its own but i needed a coach that had potential that would be able to go out and find these young cats be able to give them that push be able to let them know in a couple of years you're going to be great or if he even chooses to let them be good in one year he had that right so i picked damian randolph that is the new 76ers coach now moving into the draft lottery I know a lot of people wanted to see this. Check this out right here, y'all. You wouldn't believe it. Look at the Cavaliers, man. They're going to get the number one pick again? They already got Kyrie Irving. Like, what more do they need? It's just so crazy. So, I decided to advance. Check it out. See what's going on. Now, when you look at things like this with the percentages, you can already tell that this is most likely what's going to happen. It's nothing that, you know, can be done to tell you the truth so just looking at the teams right here as they progress the jazz they get the 14th pick rockets grizzlies celtics trailblazers magic the hawks let's look at number seven the hornets the suns the raptors the bobcats of course oh god the pistons the mavericks wow and the cavaliers so it looks like the mavericks had a horrible season in 2012 to 2013 so they're going to get that second pick. Every other team, they just look just as bad as 2012 draft. But it is what it is. But the next thing that we're going to move into is the White House. Everybody already knows that they want to see who went to the White House, who won the chip. So I'm going to just show you a couple pictures of the Miami Heat. You know, I ain't, I ain't the biggest fan. You know, I, I definitely like D-Wade, LeBron, you know, Chalmers. But, uh, you know, that, that's about it. You know, I ain't, I ain't no bandwagon guy. <laughs> But check out my boy OBZ. Yeah, that's what we call him. We call him OBZ. We won't call him Obama. You know, you always got to throw some hood slang in there. 
<laughs> but check him out with D-Wade. But one thing that you guys will notice, I caught LeBron without a headband. Oh, snap. I caught LeBron without the headband. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> just joking. Just joking. But check out Obama trying to hold up that trophy. You know, God darn well, he like 160 pounds. <laughs> but let's move on, guys. It's time to get into the team slash player options. Kwame Brown was the only person with that on his contract. So he declined it. So now he's going to try and test out free agency. I'm really not worried about Kwame leaving. If anything, I'm ecstatic that he's leaving. And all I can say is peace to the brother. But uh, it's time to move on to my free agents. Ooh, this is where it gets ugly. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, resign him. Oh, don't resign him. Oh, let him test free agency. But all that I can do is actually go in and look at a player that I will need. Now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, you got to sign Nick Young. Oh, you got to sign Darrell Wright. Well, to tell you the truth, I can sign whoever I want. So I've decided to go against all that I love and let Nick Young test free agency and to pick up Darrell Wright. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, man. You just gonna let swaggy p go yeah man i gotta let him go but check out this contract right here that Darrell wright will be looking at and reviewing now i know he might not show a lot of interest in it but come on six mil two years plus a player option and i'm getting him with the bird contract for a resign and i'm giving him the role as a six man come on <laughs> anybody would love that and plus, you just got to think about it like this. Darrell Wright didn't have that beautiful of a season. So, you know, I guess you got to take what you can get. So hopefully he will stay with the organization. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens, you know. But uh, let's move on, man. I know a lot of people want to see these pre-draft workouts. Yes, yes, yes. It's time to get into that. <laughs> but let's check out these pre-draft workouts real quick. Now, I've built a great list. I will tell you that the full seven days I will be working guys out and I also have this nice five on five at the end of the video for y'all you guys are gonna love it I'm telling you right now but let's move on and check out this first rookie now the first player that I worked out was Nerlands Noel I just wanted to see his footwork around the rim see what he had to offer on offense we already know that he's known mostly for defense man come on they compare this guy to Dikembe Mutombo with his wingspan his defensive presence but I wanted to see his presence around the rim when it came to offense I wanted to see how soft his touch was and he did pretty good now the next player that I used was Mike Muscala now his presence around the rim was kind of mm, shabby, but his footwork was good. His shot was fluid, but it just was off at times. I don't know. Maybe I got to work on that with him. But I did get a two-on-two -two with both these guys, Muscala and Noel. But, oh, man, I decided to pick the two wrong guys to go up against. I went up against Thaddeus Young and Spencer Halls. And what I'm going to tell you now, they put a beating on us. They definitely showed us that things aren't easy in the NBA. But one thing I will tell you guys, whenever Muscala dumped it down in the well, we did score a few points. As you can see right here, he's about to dump it down. And Noel is about to go to work with a nice stand-up dunk. But I feel as though, you know, maybe I can try to get Muscala, man. Noel, he's way out of my league. But I'm going to see if I can try anything with Muscala. But check out this little mistake right here. That right there definitely had me out of my game, man. <laughs> I couldn't believe he did that. But the next person that I worked out was Zeke Marshall. Now, Zeke is straight out of Akron. He's cool, you know. But maybe, you know, I can do a little bit with him. He's another big guy. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, like, he's only working out big guys. Of course, I just gave up Andrew Bynum. So, I'm looking for a solid big man to draft. Like, you guys just don't understand. I have to rebuild my entire front so you know that's the things that i have to do now the next player that i worked out was plum lee now one thing i could tell you about plum lee he's very athletic he has good ball handle and he can rise above the rim that was the one thing that i did notice his jump shot on the other hand was not too fair but it is what it is 
Now, the next player that I worked out was Jeff Withy. Now, what I will say about Jeff is he was very agile on his feet, especially when it came to the up and under. He didn't fumble the ball too many times, but the negatives about this guy was he was not a great rebounder. His awareness really wasn't all there, especially on defense. It was a lot of times where Lavoy Allen got past him. But what I will say is, you know, if he's still available in the second round, I may give him a look, you know, you never know. But overall, I had a very, very good, you know, prospect search or scouting, whatever you want to call it. Even in this 5-on-5, I put in four brand new big men, you know, two new power forwards, two new centers. I almost made the small forward position uh, power forwards, but I was like, you know what, I'm not going to troll that much. But here's a couple highlights from that 5-on-5 game. One thing that I will tell you guys is I am very invested in Drew Holiday. So there will be no signing for a new point guard. Drew Holiday is my franchise player right now. Now, when it comes to the NBA draft, I do have the 18th pick in the first and second round. So hopefully, you know, miracles can happen. I can try to, you know, catch a sleeper on that 18th pick. But this is IKC signing out. I hope you guys like episode one and episode two will be out soon. I can't wait to show you guys that NBA draft. I'm going to holler at you guys later. Peace.